ski tips pointing across the hill. You want to be here or this way. The last thing you want to do is run your tips straight into the bump. Here's Donna warming up for competition. Notice how her skis never run straight into a bump. This combined with great vertical motion gives Donna a relaxed and almost effortless looking style. Moving all the way up and all the way down is the only way you'll be able to turn your skis efficiently in the bumps. The minute you stop moving up and down, you're going to lose it. A mogul skier is always searching for the inside edge of his downhill ski. And one of the quickest ways to get into your turns is to make a slight step with your uphill ski. After you have dropped down at the completion of one turn, as you begin to rise up, step the uphill ski onto the inside edge. This slight step gets you onto the downhill ski faster and further towards the end of the next turn. At slow speeds, it is an easy and efficient way to make quick turns. As your speed increases, the width of the step begins to disappear. Absorbing the bumps will occur more naturally when you continue to sink downward with each turn. As your tips approach the bump, you should be nearing the finish of a turn and moving lower. Allow your knees to relax, absorbing the bump, and then quickly extend, pressing the tips of your skis onto the back side of the mogul. It is important that you continually think of pressing the tips back to the snow. The more time you are able to keep the tips of your skis smoothly in contact with the snow, the better you will be at absorbing the terrain and remaining in balance. Maintaining an erect but relaxed upper body will facilitate your ability to absorb the bumps and turn quickly. From the hips up, a mogul skier's body faces quietly down the hill, allowing his feet to move out from underneath him with each turn. Efficient hand position will stabilize your upper body. Think of your head and hands as forming a triangle. Keeping the base of your triangle, your hands level, will help to establish a stable upper body. Although the width of your hands is a matter of comfort and personal efficiency, it's really important that you never allow your hands to drop behind your hips. Losing a hand will pull your balance backwards. Using only your wrist to plant your poles is one of the best ways to keep your hands out in front. With each pole plant, your wrist should remain relaxed, allowing your hands to fall forward. As one wrist relaxes forward, the other wrist should be moving the tip of the pole forward in preparation for the next turn. The tip of one pole or the other should always be moving forward with quick, successive turns through the bumps. A wristy pole plant will really help to keep your feet quick and your body loose in the bumps.
Because they require so much of your balance, the bumps can really improve your overall skiing. But take it easy. Spend the morning cruising the smoother trails, letting your body warm up naturally. And then head for the bumps and grind it out for a few hours. I like to think of it as a workout, like a tough tennis match. Work hard, sweat, and then head for the showers. The mountain will always be your best teacher. The challenge of an endless variety of terrain both improves and continually tests your skills as an alpine skier. It is the moguls, however, which presents skiing's final examination. There is no cheating here. The bumps will quickly uncover those slight imperfections which you might otherwise be able to hide. But the quest for personal satisfaction the drive to beat the mountain at its own game, and to honestly know you're becoming a better skier are what make the bumps so attractive, so magnetic, and yet so difficult because they are such an honest appraisal of skillful skiing. There are times when suddenly it will feel right. For an instant you understand, and then, just as suddenly it disappears. So you go on, exploring the mountain, yourself, searching for that feeling. But all this time, you're getting closer. The mountain itself has been teaching you because it happens again, that feeling. But this time with more permanence. Along the edge of a trail, perhaps you discover the perfect line of bumps. Now, for 20 yards, you have never felt so light on a trail so tough. Here, you can fit each turn neatly into the troughs, skip onto the top of a few big bumps, or just nick the sides of a few others. You own these bumps. They were built for you.